I don't know what the bell's about, but I like it, so I'm gonna use it. This is Matt from Electric Denim Studios. I'm gonna show you the Simmons SDS7, a quick start tutorial. Uh, great machine, made in 1983, and has analog and digital sounds used by Neil Peart and Def Leppard, I think. I don't know for sure. And uh, killer, killer sounds, really unique and uh, fun to use. So stick by and let me show you this. Here's the back of the SDS-7. You got 12 individual channel outputs, a stereo output mix down and a mono mix down output XLR. The drum pad inputs, you got 12 individual drum pad inputs, and then you got 12 individual sequencer inputs. Now these correspond to the two volume knobs on the front of the unit. The top is for the drum pad input and the bottom is for the uh, sequencer input. And that's like a trim to, to sense the, uh, select the sensitivity of the input. Um, these are a little different. You can check on the um, tutorial online. To sh I'll show you what voltages these require. Here you got your hi-hat pedal input. Um, I read to just use the Simmons hi-hat pedal because it caused damage if you don't. I don't know. Uh, external kit select. That's a pad, Simmons pad, where you can select the different kits in there by... Uh, by hitting the numbers. Uh, here is a memory expansion in and out. It kind of, it's a Simmons uh, way to store, a proprietary way to store your kits in RAM. And uh, that's pretty much the back. All right, here's the front. You've got uh, each of your drum channels right here. And the ones that are lining up are the ones with the cards in them. There's a, uh, uh, a card in there with an EEPROM with the sample. And uh, this is the volume for the top volume is for your drum pad input sensitivity, and the bottom is for your uh, your sequencer sensitivity. So depending on which input you have connected to it. So anyway, when you do hit the pad, they'll light up. So here I'm changing the sensitivity, and I got one in the snare too. Now this one's on the sequencer input, so. See, the sensitivity is controlled on the bottom uh, knob for the uh, sequencer input. Here's your incrementer, and this kind of is how you select stuff. And then over here is your whole like program mode area. It's a lot easier than you think. When you power this baby up, it's on drum kit number one. Each drum kit has a memory of all the different sounds that you've programmed into here. So you have 99 of those and you select them by turning the incrementer. Okay, now to change the drum kit sounds, the, the sounds for the drum kit, uh, make sure you're not on zero, zero. You go to drum kit one. Zero, zero is for the program jigsaw, which I'll talk about later. But uh, zero, one through 99 is the drum kit. So what you do is you push program once, the red button down here, it'll blink. You select the drum kit you wanna edit. So let's say we wanna edit three. So we push three and then you push program again and see what will happen over here is you got a blinking uh, light over here which lets you select which drum track or channel you want to edit so as you see as you use the incrementer you can scroll through so let's say I want to edit the snare so I scroll to the, through to the snare and I push program one more time so for the third time all the lights blink up and now I can control anything in here. So with all the lights blinking and I'm on the snare, I can check any of these levels. And first I'm going to take out the noise. So I push noise because that's just a synth kind of noise sound, which I don't really like. I took that out. Now to keep that noise out, I have to push, uh, I can either push program and it'll take me back to the beginning. Or if I want to select more and change more th settings in this channel, I push noise again, which is what I'm going to do. So now uh, I have some click in there. I can adjust that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the analog sound. So I push uh, level on analog. And I'm bringing up the level. So now I have an analog level. I can hear the analog sound. Now to store that, I push level again, and now I can select more things like pitch. 
change the pitch. And, uh, and now this is for the digital. Like, remember, in each card you have an analog and a digital sound. So I'm going to bring up the digital sound. Hear that? It's different. Uh, play with the pitch a little bit. But to, before I play with the pitch, i got to push level again. So the, all the lights blink. And once they blink, I can select a different function. Otherwise, it'll erase what you programmed. It won't store it. Okay. So now if I want to keep all the settings I just did, I push program. If I want to erase the settings, I push one of these keys that are not lit. If I want to select more settings to, to uh, program, I push the one that's lit. And that's kind of how you go through and about and, and program each of these channels. I'm going to push program. And there, now you can hear my analog digital in click sound I got in that actual patch. There's a lot of cool little things you can do in here. And that's how you do each channel inside each drum kit. Now next I'm going to show you about the program Jigsaw, which is a little, little cool. Alright, so the program Jigsaw, what the heck is that? What does it do? Program Jigsaw basic is very basic. It allows you to copy tracks or channels into different kits or different channels. So basically what you do is you got to go to kit number 00. And then you push program and you'll see the program Jigsaw lights up. Now you're in program jigsaw mode. So what I want to do is I want to go to that sound that we just made, which was with kit number three. So you select the kit you want to copy from. And uh, once you select the kit, you push program. And then over there, you select the sound, the track. Uh, it's blinking right now. Once you find the track you want to copy, which I want to copy the snare, you push program. Now it's a steady red over there, that means it's selected. So now I push E. You can select as many tracks as you want right now. You could select more tracks if you want to copy more of them. But I'm just going to copy this track. So you select E, and now I select the kit I want to copy it into. I'm going to copy this track into kit 4. Now I'm on kit 4, you can hear the sounds of kit 4. But if you want to hear what it would sound like with the copied uh, kit, you push N. Now you can hear my copied sound that's going to get copied into 4. You can hear it in kit number 4. So now to, to save this and to copy it over and to finalize it, you push program. And that's going to copy that snare sound from kit 3 into kit 4 and finalize it. See, now that snare sound is in kit 4 and is in kit 3. So that's how you copy and paste sounds. And remember, you can do multiple tracks when you enter into that, that uh, program jigsaw. Hey, that wraps up the quick start on the Simmons SDS7. Thanks for checking it out. And uh, if you're interested in getting this, I got it for sale at Electric Denim Studios. It probably won't last long, so maybe act on that. And then I've got uh, my music at the Second Spirit if you want to hear some of my music thesecondspirit.com and uh, shoot me a line if you're interested in uh, any gear I'm always getting new gear in and out and uh, let me know how things are going this is Matt from Electric Dam Studios talk to you later